Oh, what do we do when we're down here in Florida? Well, right now, we're shopping. Jennifer's going there. I'm just gonna hang around outside. See you later. Well, today was um, kind of a, just a mellow day. I've uh, given up the shopping. I've come back. I'm gonna hang out on the road track while she finishes up. We're gonna do some Thai food for dinner, meet some friends, and then uh, uh, tomorrow we start back home in the afternoon. So it's night. We're tucked into our little boondocking spot in the parking lot not far from the water. I thought it'd be a good time to answer some of the email questions we've been getting. Brian wants to know, how do you charge all your electronics while you're on the road? Well, here's how. There's one of our laptops charging right now. This is a little mesh organizer. I picked it up from an office supply store like Office Depot. I just mounted it sideways and it uh, fits our laptops just right. Do the charging with this. This is a little 300 watt inverter. I picked it up from a pilot gas station, a truck stop, and it works great. Now that 300 watt inverter is uh, not enough to uh, run coffee or anything like run a hair dryer. It just doesn't have that much juice. But the 300 watt inverter handles the laptop charging and cell phone charging just fine. End of the day, getting ready to make up the bed. First thing we're going to put down is these foam pads. They're about an inch and a half thick. We used to use a topper, but now we've switched to the foam pads. We like these much better. You can pick them up here, there, different stores. We've talked a lot about our RV super bags, and tonight we're going to use them summer side up. A lot of you ask what we do in the evening. We don't watch TV, never have been TV watchers. Instead, we stream movies on our computer or just work on our computers. Pretty exciting life, huh? <laughs> but actually, we love our road track. It's just very comfy and cozy. We do a lot of reading and just chill out. It's a great way to relax. Okay, Jennifer's making up the bed, so it's time to get ready to go to sleep. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be back with one more report and the big reveal about why we're down here. Before you sign off, Mike, how about if you show them what you have to do, the finishing touches, to finish up, make this into a king-size bed. I closed the gap between the uh, sofas with this piece of wood, which is stored underneath there. And then we put the we put the pad down, and we are all set with lots of comfort. That's a king size bed, and there it is, all made up, ready for another comfortable night's sleep. See you tomorrow, everybody. Sweet dreams.